A Florida bill proposed by Republican State Senator Jason Brodeur would require paid bloggers to register with the state if they write about elected officials, including the governor and lawmakers. The bill states that the reports must include the identity of the individual who paid the blogger, as well as the amount they received for the post. Individuals who fail to submit their reports to the state on time can be fined up to $2,500, with a daily penalty of $25 for every day they are late. The bill defines a blog as a website or webpage that hosts any blogger and is frequently updated with opinion, commentary, or business content. The term does not include the website of a newspaper or other similar publication. Monthly reports would have to be filed by the blogger if any additional posts about elected state officers were to be published. These reports should include details such as where, when, and by whom the post was released, as well as the amount of compensation received. Failing to submit reports may result in fines. According to the bill, the elected state officers covered by the proposed Information Dissemination Bill are defined as the governor, the lieutenant governor, a cabinet officer, or any member of the legislature. Under this bill, bloggers would need to file notifications if they don't submit their reports in a timely manner, which is similar to how lobbyists must file their disclosures and reports along with any applicable fines. Payment of fines must be made within 30 days of receipt of the payment notice, unless an appeal has been filed with the relevant office. Any fines pertaining to an elected member of the legislature must be paid into the Legislative Lobbyist Registration Trust Fund. The bill has been met with criticism from civil rights lawyer Ron Kuby, who said, It's hard to imagine a proposal that would be more violative of the First Amendment. We don't register journalists. People who write cannot be forced to register. Former House Speaker Newt Gingrich called the bill insane and said it should be immediately withdrawn. A spokesperson for Gov. Ron DeSantis said he will consider the merits of a bill in final form if and when it passes the legislature. Brodeur did not provide a response when asked to comment on the origin of his proposed legislation concerning registration of bloggers. The bill attempts to challenge the 1964 U.S. Supreme Court ruling in a case known as New York Times Co. v.